how he look um, and minister um, look we have been asking for some real meaningful reduction uh, for uh, motors haulage industry people that use fuel to heat their homes and we've gone through day after day here ASCII and uh, what you're coming forward with this evening is very minimal and uh, you know you're saying um, that the, the, that this is what it's going to be and you're saying that you had to get permission from Europe to reduce the, to get a reduction or to be allowed to reduce the VAT. I never had in all my time that he had to ask Europe to increase it in the first place. That, that, uh, that's a fact that, uh, that, that, that I, I know I'm right in that. I never had that he had to get uh, permission to, 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 in, to, to increase it in the first place. And I mean reducing the, the VAT only on, on, on gas and electricity uh, from 13.5 to, to 9 percent, that's of no use to the people that are on the road. People that have four wheels under them, whatever type of a vehicle it is, that's, 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 that's not enough. And um, they're hard pressed and their backs are to the wall and um, it's, it, it's very minimal and, and it's not enough. And when you look there, that uh, 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 a, fill, a 900 litre fill of home heat oil, the, 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 VAT, the carbon tax uh, uh, amount on that is 106 euros and 7 cents. That's, that, that's massive. And Minister, like I said to you today, people are under pressure, savage pressure, P especially people working. And, 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 and that are on the road, and farmers are hard pressed with the savage costs of, um, of fuel, and he hurt them very bad. He hit people in, 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 in Kerry, the, 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 the county that I represent and that I'm proud to represent, uh, by, by suggesting that they couldn't buy turf. And is it because there is no vat in turf or what? What set did he get in turf? All, all of a sudden, I mean, uh, there's so much else to be sorted out in the world, and when you see what's happening in other countries, and like I said to you, Minister, we're all under the one sky. Look at what they're doing in America, look at the size of the vehicles that they're driving. Russia coal, China coal, uh, uh, burning stations for to, 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 to generate electricity, but then to hit poor, to try to stop poor people where they have traditionally cut and sold turf to their neighbours and, and to suggest that. And that, uh, and then we had the, the, this Minister Ryan coming out and saying that uh, grannies wouldn't be criminalised. I mean, God Almighty, they, they, these, these people uh, are the people that uh, put our country to where it is today. They were flattened their back when they when there was nothing at all in this country and they caught the turf and kept themselves warm. And to think that at the end of their days now that, that someone, some minister in power would try to do that or stop, uh, or stop people of, of buying a few bags of turf or buying a rail of turf or buying a butter turf as it was known. And I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. And I, I have to say that our, our family unit would have disintegrated back in the early 30s and 40s if it wasn't for turf. All they had was four cows, my grandmother and, 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 and my grandfather and, and my father. Four cows they had and they sold a few rails of turf and they sold a bank of turf uh, that the, the, the purchaser would cut it and save it themselves. But that's how they survived and many, and many people liked him. And I'm saying to you, Minister, he crossed the line with that. And he hurt so many people in rural Ireland, and it was him and Ryan that, 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 that suggested it. But he's, he's in your government, and you have to control him. And you've lost a lot of ground with what, what he said and what he's done in the last couple of weeks. And I'm sorry that the people of rural Kerry have been hurt, they're angered, and they're mad. 
and they're, they're sad and sore at what's going on here with the last number of weeks. And, and sad, sadly, if it, was go, if, if it was going on here, but for a while, while the, the, the minister had free reign out in the open, he was on holidays, and, and, and you know, he's, he's, nearly, he's nearly more dangerous when he's, in, uh, when he's that way than he's here inside, because, because we can contain him some bit. But he, went, he, he all went over the line in allowing him to do and say what he said. Thank you, Kahir.